Hey guys, ECRG here. Today we're going to be talking about allowing yourself to fail. Hey guys, ECRG here. Today we've got an interesting topic today. And today we're going to be talking about allowing yourself to fail. The empower of failure. Not a lot of people like to talk about this. People really only like to talk about their successes. And that's cool, but people learn the most from their failures. And especially with allowing yourself to fail. Allow yourself to fail forward. Um, you got a lot of people on here on YouTube, you know, talking about how much money they made, you know, how many vacations they go on. They got a private plane, you know, how much how many assets they have and you know how much money they make from their job and how much they love their life and all this stuff. But they don't talk a lot about the failure and what it took to get there. And so I know a lot of people are, you know, college graduates, you know, in their entry level job looking to level up, whether you're in clinical research or not. This is just a generic thing that you should do with your first jobs and really any job in your progression in life. And that's just to allow yourself to fail in the importance of failure. You know, people really, you know, when you first come to an industry you, and you don't know much about it, like a lot of you do, a lot of you, a lot of the audience here want to get into clinical research or is interested in clinical research, you know, it's going to be completely new for you. You're not going to know what's going on. It's going to be a huge learning curve and you're going to make some mistakes. You're going to make a lot of mistakes probably. Um, and, you know, there are times in clinical research when those mistakes can be costly and there are times when they can, you know, not be costly. But whether they're costly or not, you're going to have to learn from those mistakes. You're going to have your failures. You're going to have your successes. But really, the, the most you're going to learn and how you're going to better yourself is by allowing yourself to fail, giving yourself space to fail. You know, take that leap of faith, you know, take on that extra work to see what you can really handle. Take on those extra sites, take on the extra study if you're able to and, and really push yourself, see what you can handle, see what you can't handle. And at that point, you'll know, you know, what you can handle and what you can't. And, you, and you'll know, um, you know, how far you can push yourself. And so that, that's only going to come if you allow yourself to fail. Because it's, it's at that point of failure where you know, like, okay, I got to, I got to take a step back here. I can't handle all that. Um, and so that that's why it's really important to be able to allow yourself to fail. If you're taking the safe route, you know, just just getting by, you know, not really exerting 100% effort, you know, just basically getting by, clicking the check, you don't really know what you're made of. You don't know what you're capable of. And that, that can be problematic. Um, some people like to play it safe, but... I know you guys are typically go-getters if you're listening to this channel. You're not going to be, you know, learning about the industry of clinical research and, you know, learning how to level up and all the different content we provide on this channel if you're if you're not a go-getter. Um, a lot of go-getters probably aren't going to come across this content just because they're not go-getters. They're not trying to better themselves. They're not trying to you, uh, learn more about different fields and different aspects and how to look at things in different ways. So just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about failure. And it's really important to allow yourself to fail because that's when you get better. That's when you perfect your craft. That's, that's, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. You know, athletes get in the gym, basketball players get in the gym, shoot thousands of free throws, shoot thousands of shots. A lot of them don't go in, but over time you get better and better. And then sooner or later, later you're one of the best. Now, how long, how many shots do you think Steph Curry takes when he practices? How many of them do you think go in? Of course, he misses a fair number of them. So technically he fails there. But over time, you get better and better and better. And eventually, you're unstoppable. So allow yourself to fail, guys. Don't, don't get down on yourself when you do fail. Just learn from your mistakes and keep going. So I think a lot of people needed to hear that. And especially you guys coming from college, you're going to be new. You're going to be on the bottom of the totem pole. You're not going to want to make mistakes. Inevitably, you're going to make mistakes, but you're not going to want to. You're going to want to be perfect. But 
the biggest growth happens when you allow yourself to fail. And a lot of people respect you when you're open and honest about your failures. And you'll respect yourself too. So thank you guys for listening to this video. Hope you enjoyed it about allowing yourself to fail. Email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com for any inquiries you may have. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. Become a part of the notification squad by hitting the bell. And hit that like button. Also, comment down below what, what you think about failure. You think it helps you. You like failing. You hate failing. I love to fail because that's how I know what I don't know. Especially, you know, taking tests, um, you know, monitoring, whatever it may be. That's how I know what I don't know. And that's, that's where I know the line is and what I need to work on. So that's it for today's video, guys. Take care.